by Grace's video series. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to open a pineapple. One of my friends asked me how to do it. It looks daunting. Usually we're so used to opening up a can or a package and just pulling out fresh pineapple. Um, they're really easy to cut. It's really not that difficult. In fact, it usually takes me less than a few minutes to cut it open. And I'll show you how I do it really simply. Now, first things first, you're going to want to cut the top off. Now, you want your pineapples to be as golden as possible on the outside. If they're still green or if they're light pale yellow, they're probably not going to be very sweet. The darker the color, the sweeter the fruit. And you also want to cut off the bottom so that you have, you've cut off the top and bottom so it sits flat. It sits flat, just like that. Now, the core, if you can see the middle, is a little round circle. That core is inedible. You cannot chew it very well. It's ridiculously fibrous. Um, so I usually put that aside and it still blends well. So I put it in my smoothies and it's still sweet and the blending takes care of all the crunchiness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. So now I have two halves and then I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut on either side of this core. Cut off one side of the core. Let's see. See how the core is right here? I'm going to cut next to it. Okay. See, now I have the core right here, but I still have lots of good pineapples, so I'm going to cut that core out. This is half a core. The other half is in this half. So I'm going to put this aside. And then I'm going to slice off the rind. Now you want a nice, sharp knife. Mine is serrated. I wouldn't suggest that you do this with a regular knife. You're going to want something that can saw because it's pretty, pretty tough. Now, once you have it like strips, now you can just eat it like this or put it in your blender or food or whatever. But if you want bite-sized pieces, I would suggest um, cutting it in half once more time and then dicing it. And voila, you have little, little pieces. Mm. 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 Fabulous. Now. These pieces, rather than cut it, cut the rind off right now, you're going to lose a lot of the um, good fruit. So I'm going to cut it in half again. Once it's cut in half again, now I can slice off the rind without losing too much fruit. And again, watch your fingers. And voila. And again, so this was the other third. I'm going to cut it in half so I can get to the rind. If you can take a look at the rind, I'm cutting the rind off. See my sawing motion? Pineapples are very fibrous. A chef's knife, like a butcher knife, not going to work with these. Something serrated. I found that I like even, you know how bread knives are um, serrated? They work. I'm all about using what you have so you don't have to go out and buy things. All right, now the other half of the pineapple. So what am I going to do again? I'm going to slice around that core so we can take that core out. All right, so we'll do it one more time. So the third, the other third. And now we're going to slice that core. Well, let's see if, if you can see. See how it's real dense right here, and then you can see kind of lines. Okay, this dense part is the core, so I'm going to cut right there. And you can feel it. You can kind of feel how hard it, it's, it's a little harder to slice through. And then cut it in half, dice. I've got this down to a science. I can open a pineapple in 90 seconds. This is a pretty tiny one, though. This one's a little larger, but I'll do the exact same technique. Cut it in half. Cut the, I should say, cut the tips off, top, bottom, and then you cut it in half, and then you cut it into thirds, and then you take out the core, and then you cut each third in half, for those of you who like to do math, <laughs> and then you slice off the rind. Now, if your rind doesn't come off this cleanly and you still have little pieces of, of the rind on your pineapple, just go once more time and, sli and just slice those off. 
I've learned the thickness just by feel because I've done it so many times. Um, so if you, let's see if I can, if I can even do it. Let me see if I can mess up. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, say you do this, right? You're trying to cut it off, but you get all these little, you still get the little eyes. So just go through it once, a t once again and try to slice them off without losing too much of your pineapple. Now the, the first or second time that I did this, um, I cut off like half the pineapple trying to get to the rind. So I learned through, you know, trial and lots and lots of error how to get to that nice happy medium. See how quickly my knife just moves right through that pineapple. I love it. It's called Forever Sharp. Somebody gifted it to me. I have no idea how much it costs. Um, you can get it on Amazon, I think. So voila, there you go. That is how you cut open a pineapple. Really simple. Really simple. We've got um, a pretty good amount right here. This will be one meal <laughs> for me. Or I'll put it in a smoothie. Or, um, you know, there's lots of different choices. You can freeze it. It'll last in the freezer for quite a long time. Um, so there you go. How to open a pineapple. I hope that you were able to see it. I don't have a cameraman to zoom in, so hopefully you were able to see enough that you can actually d attempt it yourself. Don't be daunted by it. They are not that scary. They're very easy to open. Um, experiment. Give it a try. Be creative. And I hope you enjoy your fresh pineapple. Okay. Have a wonderful, blessed day, and happy fun in your kitchen.